Using the Angel chat tool is a very simple process. What you need to do is you click on the, the link within your Angel course to launch the chat tool. Once the tool launches, you're going to be in the chat tab window by default. There are two tabs, the chat window tab and the chat history tab. tab. When you look on the participant list, instructors will be in green. So now let me show you what a student would see when they come into the room. So they come into the chat room and students will be green in this particular case. So to start typing, you simply click in the message box down here and you notice that as you start typing, it'll show right here the participant who is typing. If it's another participant, you'll see them. So as you're typing, you'll see who's typing. When you're done, you can simply click the send, but it's easier just to hit the return key and the chat will be there. Again, from the student's perspective, this is what the student sees and the student can type back to you. And again, the participant name is there. If you go ahead and type in a URL, and you don't have to type in the whole thing, just the web address, it will become a live web address that you could click on and students can also click on. So that's how you do the chats. The chat history tab, if you click on that, will show you a listing of all of the logs and it's by day. Now there's two different logs that are in here. One says has a log after the name of it. What that log is is it will show you as the instructor. Now students do not have access to that and I'll show you that in a second. They have access to who's entered the chat, who's left the chat, who's been connected and when that happened. The other uh, report is simply a log of whatever went on for that particular day. As you can see this is what the log was. So again from the student's perspective the student clicks on the chat history and all they see is the chat for that particular day and all the chats for that particular day. So as a student I'm going to go ahead out of the chat. Once a student leaves the chat room you notice or clicks off of that they automatically get pushed out of the chat and again from the chat history if I were to click on the log I would see down here at the bottom that demo was disconnected at that point. Now if you want to delete any one of these logs you click on the name of the log checkbox delete and click the delete button and it'll tell you the delete has the logs been removed now the one thing that you cannot do is delete the log from the day that you are performing those specific uh, chats so today happens to be January 25th 2013 if I click on that and checkbox and click delete it says error deleting because today's log is there so you have to wait till the next day to delete that log now the only other thing I want to show you is the chat rooms. Again, we set up these chat rooms so only one specific team would have access to it. So as the instructor, when I go into chat room one, you'll see here, I'm going to look at this student. This student is in chat room two, and you'll notice that the instructor is not going to be there, and they're going to be waiting for the instructor. Whereas this student is in chat room one, and they can chat together without having the other students see what's going on. So this provides an opportunity for students to chat with each other that are working on a group project within a team um, without other, team, other students on other teams seeing what they're doing. So that's how you use the Angel chat tool.